Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for connecting. Uh, I thank God so much for this opportune time he has given me to be sharing his word with you, uh, his saints. Thank you for loving him. And I pray that he will love you in turn because he is a, a loving God and is a God who loves to be loved. So thank you for always setting this time aside to seek him. May the Lord uh, bless you. Uh, right now, I just want to uh, go straight to the word of God. But maybe before, yes, we thank God for the reopening of the churches again. And uh, we thank him so much that we are going to start in power, no matter the number, no matter the set number. But the thing is, the power of God is available and the Lord is going to use us in a, in a mighty way. So just get ready to come back to church. Uh, try to inform people that people who have forgotten that uh, uh, that the, 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 there shall be church again. Uh, people have gotten used to uh, to what to the normal, uh, as in they, they they thought the situation that is uh, that is on now is a normal situation. Mm -hmm. So they are not really mind some some are not mindful. We have been calling people, different people, to alert them that there, there shall be a Sunday service. And others are oh, I'm so shocked to hear about, about that. Others' uh, phone numbers, their phone con phone numbers are not on. However, if you can uh, have people to uh, remind, please do it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah! Wow. Last time I introduced a series of message. I, I introduced a uh, topic to you, and we delivered our our theme from the book of Isaiah chapter sixty, where I said, "Arise and shine." for the glory of God has, has risen upon you. Amen. We are still on the same topic. And I was looking at uh, a lot of things, we, uh, you know, uh, God, God spoke to me a lot of things concerning how people had perceived this reopening of the church and the number that, uh, that we were told to start with so far. Yes. And to me, it's not like, um, I'm not so uh, much worried about the number what I'm, I'm, I'm after is, is, is the power of God. Because as we were reading, we read a, la a number of books where and I, I, I realized uh, you discover that uh, God is after, God is looking after someone. God is looking at, uh, at the righteous, when the righteous pray, when the righteous stand, eh? the, 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 when the righteous uh, stand up and call upon his name, amen? Yes, he hears, he answers. So please, if, if we are, they have um, allowed the church to reopen again with a number of 70, 70, let us, uh, let us be strong. Let us stand firm. Let us arise and shine. Let, us, let, let there be the power of God in, in whatsoever we happen to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, amen. Mm -hmm. The sacred things, I will begin from Deuteronomy chapter uh, 29, 29. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29, 29 says, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 29. Uh, if you are there, let us go there immediately. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 29 says, the sacred things belong to the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Listen to this very well. The separate things belong to the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed belongs to us and to our, uh, and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Yes, you can uh, now put uh, something there you can put a thread there and let us jump to the book of uh, first corinthians first corinthians chapter 2 first corinthians chapter 2 first corinthians chapter 2 uh, verses 9 we shall read all uh, to to verse we shall run up to verse 14 or we may even finish because just a few verses there. Now let us start from verses nine. But it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man 
the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them, listen to this very well, but God has revealed them to, to us through the spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of, of, of man except the spirit of, of the man which is in him? Even, even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of the, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things also, these things we also speak not in, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but with the Holy Spirit, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things to spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord that, that, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, uh, Yes, uh, if we started from Deuteronomy 29, 29, whereby the Bible says the separate things belong to God, uh, our God, and the things revealed belong to us and our children. Amen. So as a church in this, uh, in this uh, season, in this season, this is what we need. We need to go deep in, uh, you know, we need to be so much spiritual. We need to seek God. We need to seek the spirit of God. We need to be filled by the power of God. The Bible says the sacred thing, uh -huh, the things that are in sacred belong to God, but the things revealed belong to us. Yes, you may perceive this that uh, maybe there are things God doesn't want to reveal to us as children of God, but if we purpose to seek him in this generation, if we have purpose to work on our lives, on our, uh, you know, if we work on our integrity, as children of God, the Bible says the things, those sacred things belong to him. There are some sacred, the things that are in sacred, those things belong to God. But the things that which are revealed belong to us and our children. Now listen, listen to, uh, listen to me, children of God. This is what we should all know. If we seek God and we allow the spirit of God to come upon us and we seek him with all our mind, the Bible says, yes, he has some sacred things, but if we go deep, if we embrace the Holy Spirit, if we go deep in seeking him, the Bible says there are things that is going to, you know, there is nothing God will conceal. There is nothing God will hide away from us. Last time I was reading to you, uh, as, as, as I was sharing, that Abraham, after receiving, uh, after uh, entertaining the three the three men that came to him while he was seated under a mamu tree outside, the Bible says he gave he gave them lots of things. They ate and they they were full and, and they felt good. And later they had to pronounce a blessing upon him that in this time next year, in such a time next year, his wife Sarah would bounce a baby boy. Then later on. Because this man was godly, was a man, a man filled with the spirit of God and led by God. He did not stop there. He said, oh, let me do everything. You know, sometimes we do things and we don't, we don't want to accomplish them. We don't want to finish them. Always work on things and make sure you, you finish everything. Whatever God tells you, instructs you to do, make sure you do it and finish it up. So now when this man received the visitors, he, had, he entertained them and he took a step again as they were telling him bye-bye. He had to say, okay, let me push them at least an extra mile. So they walked an extra mile again. Can you imagine such, such a, a hospitable man, such hospitality? You have gotten visitors, strange people that you don't know. Now you have entertained them. Yes, they have decreed a blessing. They have pronounced a, a, a promise to you. And now you say, oh, I need again to push them. And he pushed them, and the Bible says, the Bible says, how can we hide? Can we hide from Abraham the mystery of God? 
So there are some mysteries of God. If we go extra mile with God, if we keep seeking God, if we seek the spirit of God, we in a moment, as the church reopened now, now we are going to start services. Let us pass to seek God. Let us pass to embrace the spirit of God, to be with him in his presence. It is time as a church to shine. Let us shine how? Not by lots of money we have, or but let us shine in the power of God. Now, God is willing to reveal to us there's something hidden. There are some things, you know, God has a lot of things, but God is able to reveal his secrets to the people who honestly seek him. Yes, the secret things belong to him, but the things revealed belong to us. Yes, but if we keep seeking him, he will continue revealing mysteries to us. He, he has not, you know, God, God's store does not run out. He has a lot of things in store. He can still tell us, can still give us an idea as a church. Yes, this situation is on now. You find that, uh, yes, these people, the world leaders are trying to do this and the other to make sure they sabotage the progress of the church and some members of the church are already in fear. But we shouldn't fear. Let us always stand up. Let us, as, as children of God, as the righteous of God, let us always stand up. The Bible says, they just shall live by faith, not by sight. Let us always be in faith. Let us seek God and embrace, and, and, you know, and, 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 and remain in his presence and allow the spirit of God to come upon us, to cover us. The Bible says that there are some sacred things, sacred things hidden. But if we pass now, the church is now operating with effect from this what? From this Sunday, we are going to go back public gathering. Yes, the numbers are minimal, but, but let there be power. Let the mysteries of God be revealed in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. So if you derive that, the sacred things, of, uh, the sacred things belong to God, our God and, uh, and the things revealed uh, belong to us and our children, this means there are many things God would love to reveal to us, how we can overcome, how can we go about these temptations and these challenges that are on now. Praise the name of the Lord. So it is time that as a church we shine. Brothers and sisters, let us shine. Let, let each one of us stand in integrity, in righteousness. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So let us always see that we are righteous. Let us make sure we are doing the right thing. Because God has a lot to reveal to us. How we can overcome. How can we go about these challenges? God still has a plan. The Bible says the plan God has about us are very many. They are numerous. You cannot even, they are uncountable. If you were to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. That is David, David, David was revealed uh, that word. That if you are to count the plans God has for your life, for my life, they have to out, they would outnumber the grains of sand because nobody can sit down and begin to count the grains of sand one by one. It is, it is just impossible. So that's what, the, the, those are the plans God has for us. And that alone can just tell me, tells me that even what God has to reveal is too much. You cannot even count them. God is just looking, he's looking on us. He depends on us here. We are the people who are lifting up his banner. Let us lift up the banner of God. And as we stand up in power and in faith, he will reveal to us the mysteries. He, he'll give us, he'll give us plans how to, to do it, how, how, how we can do it in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Listen to me, children of God. Now, let, 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 uh, as, as I run to, to what? To uh, First Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9. But it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor what entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Amen? Mm -hmm. there, are those things, there, there are those things prepared. What no eye has seen. What no eye has seen. This takes you back to Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 29. There's most 
secret things God has. Hallelujah. But he would love to, uh, to reveal them to us. There are new ideas, new plans. How are, how are we going to be running the church as clergies, as ministers of God, as pastors in this generation? We need, we need the power of God, this power that enables us to see the mysteries of God as an evangelist, as a prophet, mm -hmm. as, as an usher. This is what you need. This is what your eye hasn't seen. This is what something that you have not had. God is still revealing his plans to, 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 to the church. He's not far. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 59, I think uh, verses 1 and 2, it says, for, uh, um, uh, uh, for God's hand is not short to save, nor is his ears deaf to hear. But there's something, but, he said, but, but, but your sins, but your sins have separated you from your God. There's something that will stop God from working. Sin, sin will stop God from work. If we don't work on our lives, we may not hear any mysteries. We may not have any plans because sin will throw you away from God. Yet he has a lot of plan. There is something your eye has not seen, your ear has not heard, and no something that has entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us. Now, God is revealing them to us. Now, this is Paul telling the Corinthians to us. Why? Because Paul is sure, he's filled by the Spirit of God. He's standing uprightly with God. He is really royal to him. Hmm? He's obedient to his word. He's keeping his commandments. Now he's saying, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the, for the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. So the deep things of God, if I take you back to the tournament, this is what Paul is saying. There's those things that are deep. They are very deep. But if we soak ourselves in the spirit of God, in the presence of God, the, these are the deep things these are going to be revealed to you and me. And we're going to overcome. We're going to shine again. We don't need to fear situations. As children of God, praise the name of the Lord. So, saints, as we share this, I want you to take in this. It's not time to fear. It's not time to ask questions. What or what? what? Let us stay in the presence of God. Let us search for him. Because he has the Lord a lot, a lot, a lot in store for us. There are many plans God has not yet revealed. Amen. So do not think God is out of, of new ideas. God does not run out of ideas. God is all-knowing. He's able. He's a supreme being. He's a sovereign God. Praise the Lord. So now Paul is saying in verse 10 here of uh, first, uh, first Corinthians chapter 2, uh, verses 10, says, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit, O oh God, for the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Yes, the deep things of God. My God, may the Lord, may the Lord reveal this to the 70, 70 that are going to be coming for fellowship. Those who are going to say, oh God, I don't need to stay at home. May the Lord reveal his mysteries to them. May the Lord pour his spirit upon all flesh. Those who are seeking him in the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. For what man knows, that in verse 11, for what man knows, for what man knows the things of man, except the spirit of the man which is in him. Even, no, even so, no. No one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. This means let us keep ourselves in the presence of God and let us keep our bonding with the Spirit tight, our relationship, our intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Let it be tight. Remember, we are in the dispensation, the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Eh? We, had a, we had that dispensation of the God the Father, God the Son, and then God the Son said, okay, I'm going, mine is over, they have even beaten me, they have kicked me away, let me go and prepare, I'll send you someone. Now, the one who is sent is the Holy Spirit. 
let us have him. That's why the Bible says in verse 11 here that for, for what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him. Uh huh. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. So if you have the spirit of God, you'll be able, you'll be in position yeah, to see and to know the mysteries of God. The mysteries that God has for us. God is going to reveal new things to us. What no eye has heard to sin, what no ear has heard. That's what God has prepared for those who love Him. Hallelujah. As I plan to wrap up this, I just want to encourage you, dear brothers and sisters. Let us seek God, let us remain in His presence. Verses 12 says, listen, we are still in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Now verses 12 says, uh -huh. now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of, uh, but the spirit who is from, from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. <laughs> eh? Have you heard that? That we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. How shall we know them if we keep our relationship, if we keep ourselves in the presence of God, we keep our relationship with the Holy Spirit. We are going to know. We are going to know the things. We are going to have the things freely given to us by God. Freely. He has many. He has many for us in store. Let's not, let, don't you be anxious. Don't you be worried. It is time to seek God. It is time to arise and shine. For the glory of God has, has, has risen upon us. For the glory of God has come upon us. Let us shine at your place of work. Be shining. Let Jesus be manifested. Hmm? And the Lord will reveal to you new ideas. There are things God is going to give you. And people will see an exceptional man. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ. Verse 13. We have no time. I have a few minutes to leave. These things, mm -hmm, 13. These things we also speak not, not what? Not in words which man is wisdom teaches, but which the, the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things by spiritual. Yeah? This is what? We ought to be and we ought to do comparing spiritual things with spiritual. We in a dispensation of if you are not having the spirit of discernment, you may not manage to overcome certain things. We must have to know the ability, we must have the ability to discern of to compare spiritual things with spiritual. Huh? 20, 14 says, but 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 the natural man does not receive the things. Eh? Listen, listen, William. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Which would it the Bible says clear. The natural man cannot. The natural man, it is high time we became so spiritual. It is high time. We sought for God. It is high time, people. Listen, if we are, listen, but the, the, the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. You must have the ability of discerning spiritual things. We are in a dispensation of chaos. There are many false doctrines. Lots of things are going on. Whatever is happening, it is happening to attack the church, to sabotage the progress of the church. Until we all acquire, until we, we have all acquired the spirit of discernment. But we may not happen to see some things. We may not happen to see what God has for us. Hallelujah. Pray the name of the Lord. Wow. My God, my God, my God, my God. Verse 15. Listen, the natural man, you, you should, we, shouldn't st we should stop being natural. Natural. If you are natural, natural, natural. Stop being natural. A natural man will not know. Will not see anything. You must be spiritual. Spiritual. 
say in the presence of God, because God is looking at the righteous to save the nation, to heal the land, mm? to restore peace and tranquility in our nations. Hallelujah. Verses 5. 15. But he who is preacher judges all things. Hallelujah. Have you heard? Yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. Hey, yeah. If you, you can, if you're spiritual, you can judge the world, but you cannot be judged by anyone. Eh? Yeah. For he, uh -huh, 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. My God. God bless you. Thank you for uh, taking in that word. Uh, we shall pray in line with what God has, uh, has spoken to us. God bless you. Let me invite Pastor Robert.